good night, hero. I hope you're doing well. It's a lovely evening, isn't it? The moon is beautiful tonight. More than usual, for some reason. You should take a good look at it, really. It's a sight for sore eyes. Today, the weather is also perfect. It's not too cold or too hot. It's just perfect. How it should be. Mm. I bought you some flowers. They're lovely. They're very lovely. This time I bought hyacinths. Purple hyacinths. Do you know what they mean in the language of flowers? They mean forgiveness. The flower shop lady told me they're great for when you need to say sorry to someone. You understand what I mean, right? I hope you do. Anyway, I'll put the flowers down here. Changing the subject. Do you want to know how the city is doing without you? I know how much you worry about the citizens. They're fine. It's like nothing's changed. I'm pretty sure most of them don't even know you can't protect them anymore. I did take control of the city, but... I didn't do much yet. No evil deed in sight. To be honest, I think I'm still kind of shocked with the fact that I won our last battle. I feel... empty. Like something big and important is gone. You, I realised. Too late, but I did. I had so many plans, but now it's like they don't make sense anymore. Do you remember the times where I would make my evil speeches and you would just laugh in my face? It used to piss me off, but at least you let me finish them. Other heroes just punched me until I couldn't talk anymore. But you always let me talk. I don't know if it was because you found it amusing, or if it was just because you respected me enough to not interrupt me with a fist in my face. Whatever it was, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I remember when I changed my villain suit, and you were the only hero who noticed. You said it was the ugliest thing you saw in your entire life. <laughs> I got so mad that day. Because I made that suit myself, and the fact you said it was ugly really offended me. Well, we were probably happy knowing that I'm back in the old original suit. The one you said, it gives me a mysterious vibe. I have to agree, it really does make me look mysterious. A very good look for a villain, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I think it's because of the dark colours, right? I'm not sure. I don't understand fashion. Hey, do you want to know what just came to my mind? That time we were fighting, and some of the other unimportant villains appeared out of nowhere and started to fight you two. Instead of taking this chance to join him and finally win against you, I decided to help you defeat him. After it happened, I was really confused with myself, you know? I would think day and night about it, asking myself why I didn't accept another villain's help to defeat you. I settled with what looked like the most reasonable answer. I told myself I did it because I want to win against you fair and square without anyone's interference. That was a lie, of course. I did it because... At the time, I was already in love with you, and I didn't know. Or maybe I just pretended I didn't know. Maybe I didn't want to admit it. I'm not sure. You must be surprised, right? I bet you weren't waiting for a sudden love confession to happen. Well, it did, so... You'll have to deal with it. <laughs> I do love you. Very much. And I miss you very much. 
and I regret every cursed day that I did to you very much. I am so sorry. I am so sorry I only realized how I feel when it was too late. God, sometimes I wonder if I should just end everything. Destroy this city and myself along with it. But I can't. You love this place too much. And I know damn well I can't destroy the city you love so much. The city you gave your life for. No. The city that I took your life for. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I'm horrible. I'm the one who killed you and yet here I am crying on your grave. <laughs> My hypocrisy in all its glory. I, I know I shouldn't be coming here, but I can't help it. This is the only way I can talk to you and feel close to you again. Can you believe that I miss you so much that I thought about freezing your body and keeping it in my house? Yeah, I know. I'm a crazy bastard. But in the end, I didn't do it. Because I didn't want to disrespect you. I already did that too much when you were still alive. My heart hurts so much right now. Most of the time, I feel like I can't breathe. And it just gets worse when I come here to visit you. Maybe that's why I keep coming back to see you. Because I... I want to feel the pain, I want to torture myself, I want to suffer. I deserve it. I wish I could turn back time. If I could, I would have done so many different choices. I would have still turned into a villain, because that's how I met you. And then when you stretched your hand in my direction, offering to help me to be a better person, I would have accepted. I would have turned into a better person. I would have become your friend, invited you on dates, and confessed my love for you. If you accepted my confession, we could have been a beautiful couple, I'm sure. And if you didn't, we would have still been friends, right? And you would still be alive. But unfortunately, I can't go back in time. My wrong decisions brought us here, and I have to deal with them. My punishment is to live every day with the fact I killed the love of my life because I was selfish and blinded by power. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, hope you didn't love me back. You had no reason to, but sometimes I feel like you did. You were too good to me, too patient, too trusting. Was this you being the good person I know you were? Or did you really love me? I'll never have the answers for that question. And again, it's my own fault. I have to go now. Not because I'm busy but because I know that I don't deserve to stand here in your presence for so long. I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll bring more flowers. Which one should I bring? Can you appear in my dreams and tell me? That would make me very happy. Actually, don't. Don't appear in my dreams. I don't deserve to see your face again, or hear your voice. Sorry for the rambles. I'm aware you used to listen to me talk quite a lot when you were alive. So I'm sure you want some peace and quiet now that you're gone. Anyway, it was good to see you. Until tomorrow. I love you. Goodbye.